All right, presenting the 3D printed IC coaxial aircraft. You'll find that out Inspired by a video game. Coaxial pusher puller drone motor. Completely unique design. PLA multi color print. To find myself again, my walls are closing in. Without a sense of confidence, I'm convinced that there's just too much pressure to take. And three, two, one, go! Welcome to the show, the HR Drone Racing, Racing Show. show. <laughs> I got my timing right, not necessarily perfect, but thank you for tuning in <laughs> once again. And uh, if you haven't done already, make sure you give the thumbs up and subscribe and comment below. It all helps. That's right. Thank you very much. Um, so this one is all about making a highly experimental aircraft that, um, as far as we're aware, in this configuration, it's never been done before. It has got an inverted rudder. An inverted rudder, yes. So a downward facing rudder. It has... Flat rounds for Flat steering. Rounds. Yep. It has four uh, planes. Four planes adding extra lift at the front. And also a coaxial drone motor configuration for throttle at the back. So there you go, that's what's happening on the channel. We're going to be making it. We'll be starting right back in CAD design software and making all the way through. Okay, enjoy this one, should be fun. And thanks everyone for tuning in. Yeah, let's go. Let's go let's into it, it in and three, two, one. <laughs> slice it up like a pizza so that's gonna be happening very shortly and put it on the printers but for now we'll show you what we're working with so we've got the, the design here um, you might think oh that's upside down but no it is not and you'll notice that the rudder for some reason is down the bottom which is interesting so it creates some interesting landing um, issues <laughs> yes it definitely will. so it's gonna have flat rounds as well as a rudder um, so the rudder will help quite a lot with um, takeoffs won't it Takeoff is what it will mean predominantly. And also, um, it's loosely inspired on a video game called Crimson Skies. We'll talk about that more in a bit. But it will have a coaxial motor on the back of it like that. And that's inspired because drone motors, we thought quite often um, people at the moment are doing this kind of thing where they, they do this with a drone motor or a sitting lifter. And they do that where it's, it becomes a pusher puller type thing. On an arm on the drone frame. On a drone frame. And these are drone motors. So we thought. That would be something cool to recreate the coaxial um, effect, effect on a plane. And the reason why we do a coax Richard is because, say for example, you use just a single prop and motor, it will create a, a torque, a spin. The aircraft will spin mainly on, on low speed, like takeoff. Take like takeoff is generally um, a, an issue we, we for most have, aircraft. For most uh, aircraft, and, and when you go to take off at low speed, it will talk out and then possibly crash. That's right, and also on landing as well. So to counter that, you can do things like use like a jet turbine or, or EDF, EDF. Yep. Um, or you could do what is called a coaxial aircraft where the pr props are spinning in opposite directions. They're still pushing the same direction, but are they cancelling each other out? So, so one goes one, go, one yes. goes the other, and it becomes negative. Right? Yeah, it's very cool. Very loosely inspired from the computer game called Crimson Skies. So the motors that we're going to be using are 2807's 1300KV X Rotor from Hobby Wings. And there's two of them. There we go. There's two. And we have some 60 amp V2 Skywalkers. And they are 3 to 6 S LiPo rated. There you go. There you go. So, so it's the ESCs and motors and it's going to be 7 inch propellers. Some hatches are made up. We've already sliced it up like a pizza, as Harry's going to show you. Yep, sliced up like a pizza. These are all different parts, all chopped up, and then we're going to be split and printed out on the printer. There you go, that's what it looks like. From different angles. Hopefully it looks pretty cool. Oh, it does. It looks and cool. the hatches are up top. Normally you'd probably see a plane normally this way around, wouldn't you? See that? <laughs> it's quite futuristic in itself, isn't it? It is. It kind of looks like a space shuttle. So I, I guess we could fly it upside down. There you go, there's no right or wrong, is there? No, nope. The first stage of this design, you've got a little bit more to do with the render. So this is the cabin. Um, so where you can see the white is going to be clear, RPLA Pro, and where it's going to be black is going to be black PLA Pro. Um, this is from our good sponsor, Kiwi Phil. Um, you're going to use a filament from them, and we're going to do it on the Crowley High for this one. And we've got 19 pieces to make to make up this aircraft. Yeah, we'll send, it, we'll send it over to the printers, get it locked in, get it printed out, and get into it. Yeah. Okay, 
Okay, okay, so we've got all three printers going. We've got the K2 working behind us, and he's working on the wingtips. We've got the Corellia High working, and he's doing two types of filaments. What's that? Uh, this guy, he's running, uh, what is it, a recycled uh, black PLA and a clear PLA, which we haven't tested before, so it'll be an interesting test. And here we've got the wingtips, and you can see that it's spooling in at the moment, and that's using... That's, yeah, Hyper PLA Black at the moment. So that'll be running on doing the wingtips, and that's like a two hour print. This one's, well, how long, we reckon? Um, 24 hours? 24 hours. Okay, and over here we've got- Because of the nature of the uh, multi-killing printing. Yes, yes, yes. And then we've got this guy over here, which is the K2, K1, sorry. And he is printing out a nose cone for this particular aircraft. And this will be printing out, uh, I think this is only a two hour print, yeah, maybe three hour print. So there you go, we've got 19 prints to make, three are on their plates, and we'll just keep an eye on them, and then we'll put the next lot on. Crowley High is working on the cabin. That's right, so he's got clear R PLA Pro and black. That's what he's doing to make it up. So that little section will take a little while. Yeah, you could take, uh, what, 24 hours or something? Yeah, probably a bit more, yeah, yeah. yeah. So he, he's ticking away, and we'll keep an eye on him. Now what are some of the other guys uh, doing? K2 Plus, he's running flaps, are on those sorts of things, isn't it? The hatches, wings, all the additional stuff that needs to be done. The Ender 3, on the other hand, he's working on troll horns. That's yeah. right, yeah, so that's quite important. Uh, more for the sort of the final stages of install. But whereas the K1, he's mainly doing fuselage. So you can hear him in the background, and we'll just keep uh, monitoring them all. Before you know it, we'll be in the air all constructed. Yeah, it's always good when it comes to good. When I pretend everything is what I want it to be, I look exactly like what you had always wanted to see. When I pretend I can forget about the criminal I am, stealing second after second just cause I know I can. But I can't pretend this is the way it'll stay, I'm just trying to bend the truth. I can't pretend I'm who you want me to be, so I... 19 prints all done, and now let's go and check it out. So yeah, there's some wing tips. Like Fuselages. Okay, so we've got some sanding to do. Yes. Crack into it. Okay, so here we are, and we're just about to glue this dowling right in. So, let's get into it. Nice. Take away my good set. Dowling rod went in, alright? Okay, so there you go, that's what it's looking like at the moment. And what are we going to do now? Uh, there's a rudder to do and some fins to do. The plane's drawing over there, it's sitting on the, uh, sitting on the wall there, ready, getting ready to dry overnight. And what are you doing here? Oh, I'm just going to try to put these guys together. Okay, so there you go. Uh, we put the dowling in, we put the carbon in, we're just gonna... And we did all the gluing. So we've run out, we, we've glued all the pieces that we need to glue um, for at least, for now. Yep. And we'll leave it overnight, and we'll do some more in the morning.
Okay, so the flaps are done and the rudder's there and working. So we've got the carbon fiber rods added to each section as appropriate. So then that way we can take the strain, the cabins the correct way around. Everything seems to be looking good on that side. Looking good, more or less. So now what are we, what's the plan now? Um, hatches, right? We're going to do some hatches. So, so you can't leave it like that. <laughs> <laughs> nope. We can't buy that good that way. So we'll put some hatches in and away we go. So we're going to do heat sinks. we we'll put them in here so then we can bolt them down. We don't have a heat sink so we're just going to use a nut. Yeah, so we're just making a four plane. Um, the idea that will be, will be like that at the front. Uh, just making the four plane or stabilizer since the wing is so far at the back. You need, definitely need something to provide that lift. Front stabilizer done, or stabilizers should I say. Okay, next step, coaxial motors. We've got the 60 amp ESCs all in parallel and we're just rigging up the motors now so you can see oh, here we go here's one that I've done earlier so there's one of the motors one of the what's this the uh, 2807s and they're going to be going into these bullet connectors so we've got them some here and we'll put them in now Okay, so we're wiring through the hobby wing motors. So we've already put one through. So we've already put a little track through there and then it goes, runs to the Skywalkers. That's right, Luke, it goes to him. Uh, Luke Skywalker. That's right. And then now we have to do the other one because of course there's two motors in the back. So. Wire that in. Yeah, there she comes. Hopefully the last one fits and I made the whole thing up. Please, 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 yes. <laughs> Perfect. Perfecto. Okay, just checking on Richard, and he's working on motor mount. Motor mount. Okay, so it's motor time. So we're working on the very first motor, which is the one at the front here. We're just figuring out which direction it's going to spin. And it's all mounted, so there you go. <laughs> it's all mounted, which is the main thing. Um, it's looking good. You know, I'm just going to tighten this nut on. You wouldn't say that uh, <laughs> because it's such an awkward place to get to for this motor. It's not going to, it's not going to do off in a second, but we'll get there. Looks cool, though, eh? Yeah, it does look cool. So this one's spinning this direction, so it's cutting that direction down, so it's coaxial, so we're going to reverse the prop and then we want it to spin up. So effectively you're getting two opposite directions, they go like that to cancel out. So that's what we want, so we need it to spin towards me. Yeah, okay, that's, what, that's what we're aiming for. Okay, so plug in the tester. Here we go. So we're looking at the rear motor. Yes, it's going the right way, right? Which way is it going? Going right? I think so. Can't tell. Spool it up. Spool it down. I think it's going the wrong way. <laughs> what did you think? Yeah, can tell. Oh, that, that fits up quite well. I see it might need a space a bit because of the gaps and the thing it actually fits. Yeah. Okay, so what we, which direction do we want it to go? <laughs> we want it to go this way. Even I'm getting confused. Okay, go so there. that's going down. We want this one to come up. That's what we want. That direction. Okay, we'll try that. Maybe the truth. Is it going the right direction? Don't feel it towards me. 
it's going the wrong direction. <laughs> yeah, 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 since we put bullet connectors in, it's not a case of desoldering, it's just a case of swapping them over. So it's no big drama. Just plug it back in and go again. Okay, this time. Yeah, I feel it on my hand. Yes! Yes! <laughs> okay, there you go. Yeah, it worked. <laughs> Moment of truth, coaxial. Here we go. <laughs> okay, there you have it. Back to H and R Dream Racing HQ. And just like that, we're back. We're so, back. what did you think, Richard? Great. It was it was, cool. it's, it's an exciting design, isn't it? To just try and put something um, where, I mean, the power, that is the thrust on the back of it, extended off the back. Coaxial um, configuration, which means that the, the air is still getting pushed in reverse, but the propellers are, in effect, canceling each other out. So at a low speed, what tends to happen with propeller aircrafts is you'll get a, the, the wings themselves will struggle to push the aircraft dead flat so with a coaxial that can't happen it's effectively cancels as the propellers spin they cut themselves and cancel out but the thrust remains the same so it's yeah. kind of cool yes there you go and the other cool thing was is we went straight from a design concept all the way through printed it out and then it's now it's a reality so that's right so a very looking, short amount of time yes yeah, very short amount of time and before you know it, we'll be sending this one in the air so stick around for that all coming up on the channel and moving on to the next segment on the show the movie slash series of the week is arrow you have found the city as he says quite a bit he does he seems to say that quite a bit that is his catchphrase um oliver queen and uh the yes, green arrow the green arrow the hood the hoodlum so that is the cool guy that you should check out this week and a, a little side note about that uh the actual actor um, steven yes yes that's right his name steven um he went once went on american ninja warrior and uh -huh. could actually complete that course so big shout out to that guy so he's got some mad skills basically he's got some mad skills he basically he, is a ninja he is the arrow so there you go so that is cool okay so our next segment is the final, final thoughts yes final thoughts uh, it's just looking forward to seeing it in the air. It'd be yeah. interesting to find. It'd be interesting. I don't. It's certainly not one that you'd be able to throw. I don't think so. No. 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 There's so, nowhere to put your hand because the, the <laughs> rudder's there. So it will create some interesting um, quirks. We do it on a catapult, or we do it on a with like retracts wheels. As wheels we're. or something. We'll figure something out. Yes. But it's interesting nonetheless, and it's a quite a unique, iconic shape. It is, it's an iconic shape. So there you go, it's something different, something new, and we'll see each other next week for the next something too. So <laughs> there you go, I'm Harry. I'm Richard. We have to thank all our sponsors. Special note to Hobby Wing, and we'll see each other next week. Otherwise, we'll see you on live stream. Yes, in uh, three, two, one, go. Yeah, we'll see each other then. Have fun. <laughs>